Dean Corrin is a progressive. I was the last candidate to use public finance. That was back in 2014. Three years ago, he ran on both the Democratic and Democratic progressive tickets for Vermont Lieutenant Governor. He lost that race, but he's still in court for what happened on the campaign trail. Attorney General Bill Sorrell ended public finance by taking out a lawsuit against me. During Corn's campaign, the Democratic Party sent an email encouraging voters to support him. But according to the Office of the Attorney General, that email was illegal since Corrin qualified to be what's called a publicly funded political candidate. So what the state law does is for those that do qualify, for those that do get public financing, there's a series of restrictions. And one of those restrictions is candidates can't raise money with political parties. But Corrin tells me that's not what this email did, and now he's filed a lawsuit of his own in federal court. Because he says public financing is important. Vermont is one of a handful of states that has public financing so that the 99% can run for office and not just the 1%. But battling in court in order to save and expand public financing can be expensive. He estimates between three and $5,000. And uh, I think the, the signs are very good that we will accomplish that. We just need the money to do it. Sunday's picnic fundraiser is one way the former candidate hopes to come up with the cash. He's back in court in December. In Burlington, Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.